Hello and welcome back, people of Earth, to another tutorial on YouTube. So, what we got today, I'm going to be doing some super basic sampling in Reaper. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the track. We're going to say insert virtual instrument on a new track. We're going to get to all of Reaper's native plugins. And we're going to go down to the Resample Matic 5000. We're going to insert that. So once you've done that, you're greeted with this interface. Now the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Obey Note Offs, turn that on, as well as Note Off Release Override. Whenever a note is played on the keyboard, it will stop when you let go, which is what we want. We're going to also change the mode to Note Semitone Shifted. That's going to enable the pitch at start. You're going to have to make sure that the pitch that is played by whatever sample you're using, you're going to have to tune that to the proper note using this to add a sample to the sampler, all you have to do is go into your file browser and drag the sample into the sampler window. Now, my sample is longer than the amount that I want, so I'm going to take the end and drag it back to where I want it to begin. Then I'm going to take the beginning and drag it forward a little bit because the sample begins slightly after the beginning of the recording, and I don't want that silence. I'm going to take the release and give it a bit of a tail so that it doesn't clip at the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pitch at start to negative 50 rather than negative 69 because I know that that is the amount that it is off based on the pitch of the piano compared to the pitch of the sample. And that's basically it. Now you can play anything you want. All you have to do if you want to use other samples, what I would do is I would make a sampler track for each different sound that you want to use. Separate the MIDI notes in between the samples so that that way each sample would have its own track and you can split up your MIDI recording appropriately. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you learned something. Subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions. And I guess I'll see you in the next one.